Good evening, gentlemen. We are gathered here not merely to debate our views on this proposed constitution, but to discuss the future course of our nation. Bear in mind the weight of such matters and the appropriate sobriety of countenance that must accompany your speech. The fate of these United States of America rests on your shoulders. The representative from Virginia has the floor. Tell us, Mr. Madison, what is your position on this new constitution? I'm a federalist! It's time for something new! My boys and I insist the change is way overdue! These articles are feeble, our system is decrepit! I'm tired of watching people think our country's so legit! We almost let some farmers mob become a revolution! A stronger central government's the obvious conclusion! The solution for this institution's more than elocution! Your greatest contribution is to run out of this constitution! Yeah! We got Adams in Washington, myself, James Madison, and Alexander Hamilton. You best believe we know what's best for this nation. So join the Federalists and vote for ratification. Thank you, Mr. Madison, for those truly inspiring words. Mr. Mason, you have the floor. Tell us your position. And also known as Dr. Fresh Cause my rhetoric is smooth Don't act like you're not impressed Soon I will express my distress at your address But first the most digress I confess I possess a finesse This is just on the best I'm an anti-fed I raise objection Your constitution It deserves rejection You say a large republic is a state of war From the Greek, Greece, and Roman Tell the public that's attaining In a nation so large of representation Constituents are far away, their voice is not perceivable. It's small communities, they had exhibit virtue. They would serve the common good, they would never want to hurt you. With the Protestants and Catholics of our class and the bourgeois, this country's too diverse to implement the common law. Your system is too faulty for this nation to persist. Better make a better case before you mess with it, I can release. Those were some valid points. Mr. Madison, do you have anything to respond to that? As a matter of fact, I do. Well, let's hear it. It's encouraging to know that my opponent knows his history, but why he thinks a large republic's bad remains a mystery. This ain't like Rome, it's a new science of politics. I'd like to make it known the system won't go down as he predicts. Bigger means better. If you want the common good, follow my words to the letter. Allow lots of factions, no one will be too prominent. In small communities, the group will likely be too dominant. That's majority tyranny. The larger group would always crush the smaller when they disagree. A larger public has diversity we need to guarantee that there will always be good men to lead our country. What say you, Mr. Mason? I ain't got more. Do tell. Your feds are all misled and bastard now so you've all been heard. Cause your collective bill of rights inside your document is absurd. The rights of individuals are needed to be protected. You better respect the people, or else you will be re-elected. The Magna Carta shows that people want the rights in writing. A higher law ensures the king or state is law abiding. States all have bills of rights within the constitution. Can't create a strong government without the bill's inclusion. And his powers are too vague. Your constitution can't prevent the government from taking away our rights. Our freedom if we don't clearly protect it. Neglect to correct your document and we'll reject it. A very moving argument, Mr. Mason. I am quite... Oh, uh, it's, excuse me, gentlemen. Hello? Yeah, yeah, hold on. I'll, I'll put you on speaker. Mr. Mason, Mr. Alexander Hamilton has a few words for you. A bill of rights is crazy and your feds are all the same. Put their convoluted reason in your incoherent claim. Your fight was already lost before it had begun. When you mess with Mr. Madison, you mess with Alex Hamilton. A bill of rights would suggest we only live with rights or we can still get retained for the rest. Checks and balances protect the rights that are unstated. This document ensures federal powers are enumerated. Domination. You just got served, son. 
There were many solid arguments presented today. Has Mr. Madison made ratification certain with his thoughtful defense of the Constitution? Or will Mr. Mason's concerns make the public reconsider? You decide, America. Express your opinions by writing your state representatives or leave a comment below. Remember to subscribe to watch more debates from these and other delegates.